So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make um, the pastry like for mince pie. So here I have some flour. I'm using um, all purpose flour. But with this, um, if you want, you can use a mixer. So we see how this go. I'm just doing this to show you that um, you can use your hands um, to knead these up. I'm going to put a pinch of salt um, in this. I'll be using about um, two teaspoons of sugar in that. So basically, this is a short crust um, pastry, but I'm doing it a little bit different. But at, at the end of this video, um, in the video description, I will put uh, a recipe for you. If you notice in here, I have a butter and I have shortening also. So basically, it's half half fat to flour to flour. So with this, just get your hands in it. Basically what I'm doing, I need this to flake up. So when you finish, it should look like a breadcrumbs. But this, um, if you have a bigger bowl, you can use it. I have a bigger bowl, but I just choose to put it in a glass one. Just go ahead and combine everything and crumble it. But if you have a mixer, Feel free to use a mixer. Also, if you have a dough flake flaker, I have another device. Um, I'll show it to you in a bit, which it's not bad. You can use also. So this is a device I have, and um, which you can use. Have have this one long time so that's how it works so if you have one of these it's lovely so that's how it you use it and the reason why it works well if you notice here you know the flower and everything just passed through um, here. So what I'm using here, I'm using some cold water. Normally, um, about 200 ml would do for this amount. So I'm just starting this off with a spoon and then I'm going to get my hand in it. But using a mixer is um, quicker, but I don't mind to do it this way. At least for those who don't have any mixer at home, you can see how you can do this. So the next thing I'm going to add to this, I'll be adding one egg um, to this. This is personal preference, but if you have a different recipe, but um, you will see the difference. Help your pastry to become nice and golden brown. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this out on, on the board. 
and then I'm going to knead it. When you're making this, if you want to use just pure butter, please do so. So with this now, I'm going to put it down and let it relax. I'm just going to wrap it, put it in the fridge, bring it back out. So meanwhile, I'm just going to get some butter um, in this. You don't have to put butter in it, but you know you don't want them stuck. So just give him a little bit of grease. You can use shortening. I'm using butter because the butter give a little bit of flavor different from the shortening. So I'll probably make about, um, I'll see, maybe about, if I can get about six of them. So we'll see how it goes. I have another video um, to show you how to make the filling because the filling for this, I didn't bought it. Uh, I made it from scratch and I will definitely show you what it looked like. So this is a filling I made and this was in the fridge. So that's what I'm gonna use. So the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring back our dough and I'm gonna cut him down like this. So I'm gonna set some aside. I'll be using my marble rolling pin because it's a little bit more heavier and a bit quicker um, to me. But whatever you have, um, just use whatever you have. After you roll this, try to let it relax a bit. Make sure this relax a bit. And one of the way to know when your dough is relaxed, when you roll it like how I'm doing it now, if you notice it's not coming in back, that's when you know your dough is relaxed. So get your desire, cut or whatever you want to use. I'll be using this because it have a pattern on it. You can use um, either side, it's up to you. Okay, two, four, six, eight. So the next procedure is you need to take your your dough and we're gonna put them in.
So it's, it's two things you can do with this um, if you want. Probably I might do it and show you. you. If you want them a little bit crispy, you can just um, bake it off, um, half bake them. You can do that. So these are finished now. So it's time to cut the, the lid. We're going to repeat the same um, process. So I need roughly eight all of this. It's always good to have extra just in case. So now if you want any pattern on it, this is personal preference, you know. As you can see, just leave a pattern on it. Um, some egg white so I want the egg white So now it's time to get these uh, filled up. Make sure you fill them right up. What I'm gonna do now, a little bit of egg wash. Um, basically, I'm using the egg white. want to use a whole egg or some milk um, you can but on the top you will see why I use um, the egg white because on the egg when you put the egg white on the top uh, I don't want it to look too um, dark
If this video of any help to you guys, please remember to like, share, subscribe, do leave positive comment. But these things take time, especially when you're doing it properly. So my, my oven is already um, preheat. Stop them down a little bit. So now I'm going to brush them um, and I'm using egg white. Now I'm just going to use this and I'm going to, you know, put some holes like in it. And this, when it starts to bake, just let the hair out of it. So our lovely mince pie is out of the oven, so if you want to put a little bit of um, dusting of icing sugar, feel free to do so. This is all personal um, preference. This is what it looked like 